Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, this is set to be the beginning of an incredibly important cycle for you, the kind that you will look back on for years to come. And this is because of Venus retrograde season with Venus in your sign for an unusually long time. At the beginning of the month, Venus will enter your sign right around the 10th, go into shadow. Next month, officially go retrograde and will be in your sign right to the middle of the summer. Now, I will be here, of course, to talk about it every step of the way. And of course, there is going to be a Venus retrograde special horoscope. So be on the lookout for that. But I wanted to mention this first and foremost right out of the gate because this is going to represent a time where you are asking yourself, do I love it? And in every area of life, not just love, but do you love the way that you are living? Do you love who you are? Do you love how you make your money, how you go about your day? Do you love what you embody? This is going to be a guiding question for you. And it is important that you watch what is happening in your life in the first part of this month, because there will be new understandings and new clarities that come to you again and again in this regard. Now, what is especially intriguing for me is that just two days before Venus goes into shadow, we are going to have a super moon. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with heart. It has to do with knowing what you truly want in your heart of hearts in every area of life, not just romantically, although we'll talk about that in just a moment. But this is very all encompassing. This is sweeping. Is it that you have pursued your passion and where is it that you no longer are willing to put your passions aside? Is it that you truly feel you've taken the risks that you needed to, to feel fulfilled? Or where is it that you haven't allowed yourself to take risk? Is it that you truly feel genuine joy in your life? And where is it that you wanna to connect to that feeling more deeply? It is gonna be this full moon happening right around the eighth that is going to bring this yearning right to the surface. And it is very much about the yearning and an appreciation of what needs to transform within you, what needs to change so that you can feel as if you are honoring that deeper desire. Now, for some, this is going to be an awakened conviction to a creative vision or creative project. But for others, it may not necessarily have to do with creativity. It is more about wanting to feel fulfilled. Now, regardless of how this energy does show up for you know that this is a valuable time this is where viscerally emotionally you're getting in touch with the questions and it is going to be in the months ahead with this larger venus retrograde season that you will come to your unique answers now i would also add this part of the sky where the full moon is taking place well, it does speak to children that you want or children that you have and where it is that a genuine desire to be more present with them, to understand the role, the stewardship you hold as parent more deeply, to feel motivated to make changes in your life, influenced by your love for them. Well, this may be part of how this energy is realized in your life. Now, regardless, know that this is a valuable time, an important time, and whatever you think is your answer around this full moon, you are gonna have weeks and months to dive into it more fully, more thoroughly, with greater nuance and greater understanding. As we navigate later into the month, it will be right around the 23rd that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be taking place in the sign just before yours. Now, ordinarily, this is a very quiet part of the sky, but here's the thing. Uranus is hand in hand with this new moon and speaking in a conversation of tension with Saturn. I do feel like this could represent very quick closures. Now, this is closing a chapter, closing karmic ties, understanding what has served its purpose in your life and the changes that happen now 
could happen very quickly and could have you thinking about what it is that needs to evolve or change in more practical ways for you as well. For others, this might be a time of awareness as if what you didn't know, now very suddenly you do know, and it changes your understanding as to what it is that you ultimately do want to put into place so that you can manifest bigger and better in the fullness of time. The one thing I do love about this new moon though is that it is cleansing, it is truthful. It helps you to understand your power and it gives you that opportunity to feel as if you're working with fresh energy to begin again. Thankfully, as part of the perfection, with this Venus retrograde season, yes, you are in a process and in a journey of beginning again in some key way, but the answers you find will be rooted in love. And even if your answers aren't quick, aren't sudden, aren't immediate, that really is okay. It is gonna be next month that not only Venus retrograde is gonna take place, but the nodes and the North Node is gonna move into your sign. I'll have a lot more to say about that as well, but ultimately what this does is it puts you on a path towards karmic realization, towards becoming a higher, more loving vision of your life more fully. And in this way, this month sets the stage for all the bright and incredible beginnings coming up for you as part of not only a powerful May ahead, but also an important year of your life that you will look back on for many years to come where you realize so much changed and for the better. This is the month that sets the stage for those big, bright, bold new chapters. Where it comes to matters of love, I touched on Venus already, that is a big deal, but that full moon is a big deal as well. That full moon happening in a very heart-oriented part of your sky, well, it may very well be matters of heart that feel like they are a part of what helps you to ask yourself these deeper, more important questions. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, there may very well be a very powerful flirtation that does take place in the days around this full moon. Now this flirtation, it's almost as if it's necessary. It's necessary to help you to get in touch with the very beginning of the larger Venus retrograde transit, to help you to get in touch with your heart's desires in every area of life, to help you to feel more deeply. And in this way, it is a flirtation that you are ready for. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think this full moon is incredibly consequential in that regard. This is energy that's very all or nothing, and there are a few signs out there who are going to feel this full moon in the context of relationship more than others, and you are one of those signs. And especially if it is that you're just dating somebody, this is going to be a decisive moment, a decisive month where you realize whether or not this person is part of your progress forward or not, and whether or not you want to move forward with this person or not. But of course, Venus is going into shadow right around the same time. So you can make your decision and that's okay, but know that further understandings, further insights are set to take place for you in the weeks and months ahead. And for those of you in an established bond, I do feel like this full moon will likely speak less to established bonds, but could still be significant. It is going to help you to understand more deeply as to the depth of love that you have for this person, what you're willing to change within you for love, what they are willing to change. And that deepening bond on a heart level could feel like it awakens at the time of this full moon. But remember, you are entering a very important cycle of the larger Venus retrograde season. Pay attention to what is happening in your relationship, whether it feels as if there are certain issues coming up for you or for your partner, ways in which you feel the relationship is evolving and changing, because it is going to be now that the very beginning of how it is that your relationship is growing is going to be revealed to you now. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I love that it is a big month, although it may not feel so big right away. It's more like in some ways, this month is setting the stage for the huge changes coming up for you just around the corner once we get into May. But at least for now, you start asking yourself some truly important questions. What 
do you love? And where it is that love is there, you will start to move in a journey towards strengthening that love in every area of life. But where it is that you don't feel that love, well, this is where the stage is set for you to make bright, bold changes that do move you towards the greater embodiment of love and wisdom as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the recent Saturn special horoscope, like the Venus retrograde special horoscope coming up this month, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.